Good day, subscribers. Today is the third episode of Semester One, First Day of Class. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right hand corner. As always, I want to thank my subscribers for joining me as I go through the program. I hope you all enjoy the videos as much as I do, and feel free to ask questions in the comments. This video's comic shows the difference between some programming languages. My favorite is the last one, HTML. In the last episode, Semester 1, Episode 2, we talked about how to move from the waitlist to registering for a course, and now I'm registered for my top choice, CS6475 Computational Photography. If computational photography and computer vision is something that you're interested in, check out the link in the video description. As I have said before, Georgia Tech uses Udacity for the lecture part of the course, so you can follow the course of computational photography on Udacity for free. On the first day of class, you start to really learn what online study is like. For my course, the main web services that we are using is, first, Piazza, which is what the class will use for commenting and discussion, peer feedback, which as you can guess is used for peer feedback on team projects and team members, Canvas, which is what we'll use to submit homework assignments and view course material, GitHub, which is used to assign the homeworks and the projects, Udacity, which is used for the lectures, as I've said before, and Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, which is used for everything from the syllabus to homework templates. Next, let's take a look at each one of these sites. First, we have Piazza. So this is the Piazza website. As I said, Piazza is used for class discussion and commenting. As you can see, on the left-hand side, there's a banner of different topics discussed in the class such as notebooks and student introductions and things about the course. You can use this to comment, ask questions on homeworks or anything like that, and speak to the teachers and TAs. It's a little bit overwhelming and you do receive a lot of emails on it. It's probably the hardest thing about adjusting to an online program. But little by little you start to get used to it and after a little bit it really becomes natural. Next we have peer feedback. Here we have peer feedback, which right now doesn't look like much. Peer feedback will be used to respond to questions on the first homework, which we just completed. So right now there's not much, but as we move through the semester, it'll become a little bit more populated. Now let's take a look at Canvas. Here we have the Canvas website which is kind of the hub of everything for the semester. As you guys can see, there's everything from the dashboard to the calendar over here on the left. We have a column here of different things such as quizzes, assignments, and these just kind of go through what the assignments are. As I said, GitHub is used to actually complete the assignments, but this is where you'll hand them in. And over here on the right, we have a little bit of a different view of the calendars, which will say the homework, how many points it's out of, and then the due date and due time. Next, we have GitHub. For programmers, GitHub should be a familiar face. If it isn't, I have linked some videos explaining what GitHub is in the video description if you would like to learn more. This is the GitHub website. As I said, for programmers, this website should be fairly familiar. GitHub is what the OMS CS program, or at least this class, uses for assignments, lab exercises, and Bonnie, which is what they use for auto-grading code. This is where you will get the assignments. So if we click on this assignments tab, it'll show us all the assignments for the semester, and we can go through and look at them. Next, we have Udacity. Here, we have Udacity. Udacity, which is probably the most used word in this entire series, is what Georgia Tech uses to hold the lectures for the courses. So if we click on my computational photography course, it'll bring us to the lecture hall, which is where all the lectures for the course are stored. 
and if we go into one of the cards, it'll start playing the lecture for us. One last thing that should be noted is this OMSCS student orientation. This is a program that'll show up on your Udacity page when you enter into the program and are about to start the semester. It has great information on things like Oscar, registration, T-Square, which is now being replaced by Canvas, uh, Udacity, of course, Piazza, and it just kind of goes through some of the tools that you'll use in the masters. It was really helpful to go through, but there is still a lot to learn. So it kind of gives you a taste, and then you start to have a little bit more and a little bit more as you go through the program. But it is really good to go through before you start the program and just kind of get a little bit of a view of what you'll be working with. And lastly, we have the Google platform. And here we have the Google Sheets and also Google Slides. Here we're just looking at uh, the Google Sheets, which is what the class uses for its syllabus. So it has the syllabus, the schedule, lectures, assignments, that kind of stuff. And then here, uh, my class uses Google Slides to give the templates for homework assignments. So this is the first homework assignment that I filled out and submitted. And uh, that's what they'll use for the rest of the program. Now, let's take a quick look at some important dates. We have got our time ticket and signed up for classes, had our first day, and paid tuition. Next, we will start to move into the semester, with January 21st being a nice day off. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and were able to learn something. If you have any questions or video requests, let me know in the comments. Thanks, and subscribe.